Hi, I'm Eric with Arenda, and we talk a lot in the pool industry about chlorination and the science behind all the water chemistry, but there's a few things that slow down chlorine, and today we're gonna to talk about one of them, and it's called cyanuric acid. So one of the weaknesses in chlorine is the fact that direct sunlight will actually break it down in a matter of hours. And fortunately, there is a substance out there called cyanuric acid, which protects chlorine from sunlight. Like anything in the pool business, we have to think about moderation because too much cyanuric acid actually diminishes the strength of chlorine. It will significantly weaken it. That factor happens to be about 7.5%. The formula looks like this. Free available chlorine is a factor of 7.5% times your cyanuric acid level. To simplify that, in other words, if you have 100 parts per million cyanuric levels, you have zero free available chlorine until you exceed 7.5 parts per million. So your new zero point is 7.5 parts per million. So it's a significant thing for a lot of pools, especially pools that use substances like trichlor for chlorine. If you have a lot of cyanuric acid, sure, you have protection from sunlight, but it drastically weakens your chlorine. This is a chart that represents oxidation reduction potential, known as ORP in millivolts, and the cyanuric acid level. As you increase the level of cyanuric acid, you decrease the level of ORP. It looks something like this. Adding more cyanuric dramatically lowers, and it starts to stabilize out here. This is really important if you think about disinfection in a swimming pool, because if you have high levels of cyanuric acid, and you're multiplying by the factor, you have weaker and weaker and weaker chlorine. You need enough residual sanitizer in your pool to make sure that your water is safe. Chlorine is made for disinfection, but if you put too much cyanuric acid in the pool, it's not gonna be a strong disinfectant anymore. So we recommend not exceeding something like 30 parts per million of cyanuric acid. Let's do the math on that. 30 parts, CYA, times the factor of 7.5% is about 2.25 parts per million as a baseline for chlorine. That's manageable, you can do that. The bottom line is to keep your cyanuric acid levels low enough so that they're manageable. We need chlorine to be an effective sanitizer. I'm Eric Knight with Arenda, I hope this helps. If you want more information, view our website, arendatech.com or contact us directly, we're happy to talk to you. Thanks for your time.